the design of the station is not just to handle flows today, but to handle flows years out into the future. So we have five pumps. This station can pump design is 18 million gallons a day. The needs in a pump station right now are a lot different than they were 15 years ago. 15 years ago, there weren't as many white products out there on the market, which are marketed as flushable wipes. It's basically a cotton product that doesn't break down. It is flushable, but it does not break down in the system. And you need a pump that can pump that product. It was pretty obvious right off the bat when we first started this station up that we were experiencing ragging problems. You would end up three pumps ragged up, fourth pump being called on. That's a lot of money we were spending on electricity to run three giant 250 horsepower motors. Internally, we made the decision that we really needed to get a pump company involved with trying to come up with a fix for the pump. And since Cornell already had the pump, and they have a version of a cutter assembly for this pump, we thought we'd give that a shot. We had meetings with our engineers, with Cornell, and just internal staff on what's the best way to handle this cheaply. I mean, your wastewater bill pays our salaries and pays for these pumps and everything. So we need to do it financially. We have to pay attention to that. Cornell was really great about uh, continuing with us to see what the problem was, isolate the problem, and try to build a design around solving that problem. When it came down to the end, we were able to just pump that right straight through the pump. And we did it without ragging the pump. We're really pretty excited about getting more flow. 